The State Department of Labor is again patting itself on the back for stopping one million fraudulent unemployment claims worth $12 billion. But what it won't say, despite several requests from News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey, is how many claims it did not stop. How many millions or billions of your tax dollars went out the door to scammers. So Jen went to the governor's, D Governor Cuomo's briefing today in Buffalo to see if he had an answer to that question. Well, Deanna, Brett, he and I had a conversation about unemployment fraud, but I never actually got a specific answer. Take a listen. Your administration won't tell the public how much fraud has gone out the door, how many millions or billions has gone out the door to fraudsters. Two points. One a little bit, I told you so. I was bombarded every day. There are 4,000 people who are waiting for unemployment insurance checks and they can't get them. Uh, one person said they called, they were online for three hours. One person said they went and they've been waiting for two weeks. One person was waiting for three weeks. What did I say to you, not you personally? Did I say it to you personally? I'm here and you'll tell me <laughs> why is there all this fraud. So you, but you use that then to explain the delay. So if there was that delay for those folks, the proper checks and balances we assumed were being made. No, 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 you can't have it both ways. I said to you last year, what you're going to turn to me next year and say is, there was fraud in the program. I said, you're going to say that. Now you're saying, get the check out the door, get the check out the door, get the check out the door. I'm saying we have to do checks. We have to do uh, verification. And I don't mean to say you personally. I personally stood here and asked you that, but you said we got to take our time to prevent the fraud, and it seems like the fraud has not been prevented. Well, we look, there was such a deluge, right? We did millions of claims, and we did need to do them quickly. Uh, and if you were going to do full verification on everyone like we normally do, it would have taken months to get those checks out. That is the price of expediting the process. And look, the fraudsters wind up hurting the good people because you did have good people who just needed the check to pay the rent and weren't conning anyone. And then you had some people who were committing fraud. By the way, our level of fraud in the program is much, much lower than most states because we didn't rush it that fast and we did do verification as fast as we could. The governor may know that, that our level of fraud is lower, but why not show the data that he's basing that conclusion on? That's what I've been asking for. Other states have admitted to losing billions in unemployment ID theft. The Department of Labor just keeps telling me, Deanna, that the new fraud is being discovered every day, and because of that, the numbers change. Well, Jen, you've been reporting this. The reason why this information is so important is because somebody's got to pay for that fraud. And now the unemployment fund is depleted, and businesses are facing these huge increases in their insurance rates to replenish the fund at a time when they're already struggling after the pandemic. Right, this is a two-pronged issue. Much of the fraud is taxpayer money. It came from the federal government, was funneled through New York State, but it's all of our tax dollars either way. And then some of the money that was paid out to this, these fraudsters was from the fund that is sustained from all taxes that businesses pay for that particular fund. And as we've reporting, those rates just skyrocketed. I asked the governor about that too today. Hear his response coming up at six. We look forward to that. Thanks so much, Jen.